first of all, um, uh, creativity, uh, creative moments are rare and come suddenly and unexpectedly, but they only come after preparation. So one has to, first of all, be immersed in the subject matter and uh, uh, particularly uh, in an interdisciplinary area uh, one has to be in touch with people in the discipline, biologists for example. Uh, But in addition to that I think you have to um, free yourself from too many mundane activities. You have to say no when people ask you to on some occasions when people ask you to do things to make time for yourself. And you have to listen to your subconscious. So um, most of the ideas that I've had, uh, most of the creative ideas that I've had, have not come sitting at my desk in the office. They've come when I'm out for a walk, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, sometimes in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. Um, so what we, what we see is that the subconscious is always working. And, uh, and for that reason, it's sometimes possible to be productive even at times when you're very busy with teaching and service and other duties because all that time, even if your uh, daily hours are occupied, the subconscious is, uh, is doing its work. Um, uh, also, I think um, most of the creative opportunities come at the uh, boundaries between disciplines. So um, rather than working in traditional directions, I think it's important to, to look for the, uh, those boundaries and, and to work across disciplines. That's where most of the breakthroughs will be coming. This is um, advice uh, specifically for people going into uh, theoretical computer science, but some of it applies more generally, and I apply some of it to myself as well. Um, So uh, here is what I wrote. Uh, Understand what you are good at and what you like to do, and choose accordingly. In the words of Socrates, know thyself. Disregard the fashions of the day and search for new areas of research that are about to become important. To find exciting problems, look to the interfaces between disciplines. Believe in yourself and trust your own taste and judgment. Understand that progress comes slowly, but that it will come with time. Enjoy the process of creation, even when progress is slow. Enjoy the company of your colleagues and be generous in sharing ideas. So I think that, um, in particular, um, research is a funny business because on a given day or a given week, you you, uh, usually don't produce anything. Um, But when you look back over a longer span of time, you see that your work is moving ahead. So it takes a certain um, uh, patience or calmness to to recognize that uh, most days uh, nothing much will happen, um, to have confidence that in the long run th- things will happen. And, and, the, and I think the greatest factor is whether you really enjoy it, whether you enjoy trying even if you fail. And um, if, if, if it pleases you, to, if the process of investigation is pleasing to you, then you will be able to withstand the disappointments. But if it's just a job, you might as well do something else.